Yo, what is up, guys? So here's Jay Gruden's press conference. Um, I'm going to be highlighting important points. There might be echo. I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to get you guys um, this press conference. And if it's the audio is really bad, um, go to the Washington Redskins Twitter. It's right there. Game was pretty sore. And then I got checked out, got an MRI. Everything's pretty stable. Just got to rest it for a day. So who is the backup quarterback now? Right now it's Dwayne. Dwayne is back up. Yeah. So depending on Case's foot, would Dwayne be the starter Sunday? Depending on Case's foot, that could be the case. Obviously, if Case can't play, then the backup usually does play. Sure, but depending with on Colt how Colt is uh, tomorrow, we'll see how he is. I haven't seen him take. I haven't seen him throw a ball in about a month and a half. Okay. I was just saying, did he? He didn't see him. He didn't throw it all today. I know it's a walkthrough, but there was no, nothing. He did not. No. How, how likely would it be that he could miss that much time and be ready to play after what he's gone through? That I don't know. We'll have to see him an individual tomorrow and, and have him throw some balls and see where he's at, see how he feels as far as pushing off is concerned. He's been doing a lot on the side on his own, so I, I don't think he'd be cleared to practice unless he felt pretty good about it. But still, we want to see him uh, take the snap uh, with people coming at him and making some throws. Sorry if I'm being dense here. Is there a chance that Colt could return and supplant Dwayne as the backup? There is a chance that could happen. I, I don't. I don't know yet. I, I, we just want to get through today. It's a walk through tomorrow. We'll we'll evaluate everything. See where Case is. I assume Case is going to be able to play. He's a tough guy. Uh, if you know, and then we'll deal with the ifs tomorrow and Friday. So then the other question would be, depending on who it is, how much does that change your game plan, your prep? How are he looks pissed. He looks. He just looks like he doesn't want to answer these questions. Early, do you need to know? Well. If he can't go tomorrow, then obviously the other guys will get the reps, which will be good. Uh, so that's a win-win. And then if he's better Friday and Case feels like he can go, he'd go. But uh, we'll just wait and see. Um, you know, we'll get these other two guys some reps tomorrow. You know, we don't have a lot of time in practice to get everybody ample reps to get them ready for a game. But we will get, uh, obviously, uh, Dwayne a lot of reps tomorrow, see where he's at. Does the setbacks that Colt had to end last year and then coming back in camp kind of influence how you may want to handle him in this scenario? I think the biggest thing in how to handle Colt is how he's feeling mentally and physically. If he feels like he's ready to go, then I'll have to make that decision. And I'll see where Dwayne is as far as the game plan prep is concerned. Uh, if I feel great about Dwayne and, and Case can't go, we'll, we'll, we'll go with Dwayne. We'll see how it goes. But uh, like I said tomorrow or today, like I said already, uh, we got a little ways to go before I make any crazy decisions. With regards to the two offensive linemen, obviously linemen typically play through a lot of stuff, but any sense that they won't be available Sunday? That I don't know either. You know, I, I really don't know. With regards to... I mean, for a head coach, it seems like he doesn't know a lot of um, obvious things. He doesn't, like... It just, like, you don't know the health of your... Two of your starting offensive linemen, one of the best offensive linemen in the league. Like, you don't know. Like, I know... Like, I know as much as him, and that's crazy because he he should know. Maybe he's just not saying it, but there's no way he doesn't know how uh, Sheriff and Rulia are. are. This, ugh, I hate watching him. Keenum, so after the game, um, you didn't mention him, and then yesterday, nothing either. Is this something that just kind of came up today, regardless of whether he got hurt in Monday? No, or it came up yesterday a little bit. He was sore. He just had an MRI this morning and, and got everything to the guard. Uh, so it's kind of how we're doing it. But I, I'm hoping at least one of them will be able to go. Uh, He's talking about the offensive line. Jones, how much does your pre-draft prep on him help out? How do you get ready for a guy who's played one game? Well, he's very talented. I think the biggest thing you have to understand is, fortunately, we've played Wentz. we played Prescott. And I'm going to skip that part. Kind of boring just talking about him. If you want to watch it, go ahead and watch the description. He's just talking about how um, they've played mobile quarterbacks this year, so they're prepared. Talks about Eli's leadership. For the role of when that time might come for him to come in, or is that changing now, given that maybe Case Dwayne? is injured? Yeah, Dwayne. He better be preparing like he's ready to play. That's, uh, that's the biggest thing you got to do as a backup. You have to prepare to start. You have to be prepared to come in on the second play of the game. So he better be prepared. I think he is. He's been working. What is the team doing to help him there? Because earlier you said he's only been getting time against the practice squad. Yeah, we, uh, we're meeting with him every day. Meeting with him, going over film and... and Tim's doing some individual time with him. And, uh, you know, that's the role of a backup. That's the backup's job. You he needs to get more reps. Uh, in practice, but it's your job to be ready and learn everything.
Where would you say his knowledge is on the game plan from where you saw him in the preseason to where he is now? Uh, on the chalkboard, it's good. You know, uh, on the field, we'll have to wait and see. I think he'll, he'll be fine, but we'll have to wait and see. That's something that you can't really gauge until you get out there and, and you see the defensive front for the Giants and the coverage is changing and uh, the blitz is changing and, 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 uh, and how you react. Jay, you're obviously frustrated. Players are frustrated with the 0-3 start. How do you keep a positive morale inside that locker room? We have to. You know, I think uh, if you walk around with your head hanging your head all day, it's going to be a miserable atmosphere, and uh, nobody's going to want to get better. So I think the most important thing is to, is to be positive and, and uh, understand that we still have a job to do. We're working hard, and uh, we can still dig ourselves out of this hole. Uh, tougher things have been done in the world than coming back from an 0-3 start. We have the people in the locker room to do it. I feel like uh, we have the talent to do it. Now we just got to go out and do it and play smart and play consistently for four quarters, not just two. What have you made of Landon Collins' impact so far? Okay, so he just talks about Landon Collins and his um, revenge game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button. Sorry for the background noise. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to watch it, it'll be in the description. I'm sorry if I talk too much. But, yeah. Um, that's pretty much all he talked about. Hopefully Sheriff and really are back. If not, he said Bergstrom will start at center and um, Martin will start at right guard. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button. Peace.